Okay, in tonight's free trading video, let's go over the importance of knowing how to trade gaps. So a lot of times we throw out the gap statistics at you and we tell you, okay, look for half a gap fill and look for a full gap fill. All right. So obviously you can see that half a gap fill has filled today and I'm just eyeballing it. If you want to be really specific, all you have to do is grab a Fibonacci line, draw from the close to the open, and you can see just eyeballing it just because I've traded it so much, you kind of get pretty close to it, right? So how do you deal with, it did do a half a gap fill, but it took it all dag on day. Well, there's not a lot you can do about this right here. So usually what you're doing at, when you're at the open, you've got three things you can do. You can go long, you can go short, or you can leave it alone. On this one, it was a, a short from the open, and you were immediately in the profit, and then boom, it took the profit away from you. And then after that, it's your job to figure out what's going on with the market. And on this one, I figured it was going a little bit higher and then um, got in at a at a wrong situation and then got stopped out on it to the low side. And then after that, I had it pegged as, oh, it's just dead sideways. And I only trade from 930 to 1130, so there wasn't a whole heck of a lot I could do uh, in that situation. But if you trade in the afternoon, best time to start trading in is around 2 or 2.30, and you can see that it actually rolled over after 2 or 2.30, and then you got that half a gap fill. One thing that you can do to kind of increase your chances is just do a little baseline here. That's the low. Once it broke the low, you can see that it, it, it did a little piercing action there, bounced up off of it. And now that you've got this situation where you're looking at it broke down here, it bounced up, so that acted like support. The support was then broken, which now becomes resistance on this next bar, and you had an opportunity to get short around, oh, right here in this area, and then on the way down. Now, hopefully you covered quick enough. If you didn't, um, just keep staring at the market. Eventually, you kind of figure it out over time. Now, tonight's member video, let's go over the gold trade that we did last night on the bounce up that was successful. And now let's talk about our plan for the index futures and also what's our next trade on gold. Tonight is also the last night that you can take advantage of the original price or the uh, launching price of Rob's indicators. If you're a non-member, $14.97. If you're a member, $997. Tomorrow at midnight, it goes up back up to the the retail price right now this is the hotel the not the hotel price how about the wholesale price that sounds better right instead of hotel we'll call it wholesale there you go all right so tomorrow at midnight the price for members goes up to 1497